The FarmBot Genesis version 1.2 kits include four NEMA 17 stepper motors. These are pretty cool. They have our logo custom engraved on there, and they also have the rotary encoder pre-attached for us. These stepper motors are 200 step per revolution accuracy, so they can move 200 times in one revolution. That allows FarmBot to move at its most accurate 0.2 millimeters at a time, though with our software, we usually just move FarmBot in one millimeter increments because that's as accurate as we need. So the motor shafts on these NEMA 17 motors include two flat sections. So this is called a double D motor shaft. The two flat sections are used to provide a nice landing zone for the set screws on the GT2 pulleys. These pulleys slide onto the motor shaft and then you can tighten the two set screws using the two millimeter wrench. And then this pulley will be very secured onto the shaft. So as the shaft rotates, the pulley will as well and there will be no slipping between the two. The stepper motor itself is connected with one of these cables. It's a slightly thinner cable that came in the motor box and it is plugged in, uh, this cable is plugged into the motor with the white connector. Then the other end with this black four wire connector is plugged into the Arduino uh, ramps board. The encoder is connected to the Arduino and ramps boards with these slightly thicker cables that are also included in the motor kit box. The white connector plugs in here to the encoder while the, uh, all these free connectors plug into the Arduino and ramps. There are three different cable lengths. One is 4.5 meters long, and that is for the Z-axis motor. Two sets are 2.8 meters long, and that's for the motor that mounts onto the cross slide for the Y-axis, and also the second X-direction motor that's mounted on the gantry opposite of the electronics box. And then one set is 0.75 meters long, and that's for the motor on the gantry, the X1 motor that is mounted very near the electronics box. So with these uh, eight cables, we're able to hook up all four of these motors to the Arduino and ramps boards and power our stepper motors. The rotary encoders are 360 line per revolution. And what the rotary encoders do is they provide a closed loop feedback control to the Arduino. So when the motor moves, the rotary encoder measures the movement and then tells the Arduino everything looks good or something went wrong. When something goes wrong, that's probably because there was a stick in, on your tracks or FarmBot was jamming on something or maybe a little kid came up and started moving FarmBot when it wasn't supposed to be moving. And so the road encoders allow FarmBot to know when something has gone wrong and it's always tracking its position. So that's a really nice feature of the FarmBot Genesis version 1.2 kit.